Sir, you're telling me about two other stories and mission them together and that I should be expecting some kind of hybrid of that. I don't like that. And by the way, you're then putting those films into my head instead of your film into my head. Okay, does that make sense? Um, and I think as an executive, I mean also when you do it, you have to be really careful because if you pick a film that is terrible, like that was a bomb or like that the executive doesn't like, and you may not even know what the executive likes it or doesn't like it, right? I'm going, why did you reference that film? That's terrible. Does that, does that make sense? Like I'm, I'm um, sorry. So I'm not a big fan of them, of it being that way. Uh, I think the most important thing, I'm going to read this definition because I actually think this is the first thing I'm actually going to read, read. A log line, a brief, usually one or two sentences. If you get more than three sentences, you're now doing a synopsis, a short synopsis of your script. You're not doing a log line, okay? Summary of a movie or TV show that states the central conflict of the story, often providing both a synopsis of the story's plot and the emotional hook to stimulate interest. Yes? Could you explain uh, what log lines are used for in the business and in the industry? Mm-hmm. Kind of yeah, I can do that right now. So log lines are kind of the setup to know what we should expect when we're reading your script or hearing your pitch, right? It tells us what we know. It's going to tell, for me, it tells me my, the genre I'm about to hear and who my main character is. And it's supposed to entice me. It's supposed to make me want to read more. It's not supposed to tell me everything, but it's supposed to do enough that's like, ooh, that sounds intriguing to me. I want to keep going. That's really what it is. It's different than like the marketing synopsis which kind of tells almost the whole plot, but maybe not the third act. You're not even telling me necessarily your second act in your log line. You're telling me your hook, your entry way in. It's, that's how I would look at it, if that makes sense. Any questions, concerns? It's like a marketing tool, right? I don't, see this is where I think it's an interesting thing, because I think brilliant writers have a really hard, like, most writers have a really hard time making a log line because it's a different skill set. It's a completely different skill set. It's not what you're used to doing. It's taking something that you guys are used to having pages on pages on pages on pages of descripting. Descript descripting, I'm creating my own words. <laughs> Describing and trying to get it into one line. It's really easy to do once a movie's been made, right? It's really hard when your script is still a living, organic thing that is changing. It's very hard. Um, and it's not always a skill set everybody conquers. I'm just uh, flat out telling you that. There are still, it's just like pitching. Just so you know, there are brilliant screenwriters who are like very successful who don't pitch. Now they don't have to, but even before they tried not to. They're terrible at it. They admit it. They openly say, I suck at pitching. Because it's there's a craftsmanship to it, right? It's a little showy. You could be an amazing pitcher and a terrible writer. You can be an amazing writer and a terrible pitcher. They're not exclusive, right? Um, so you always have to. That's why I say don't be discouraged if you're not great at pitching. I mean, that's why a lot of people write spec scripts, <laughs> so they can go. I'm not really good at pitching, but here's the script and here's the basic idea, right? And they hand you the script if you get to hand the script, but you understand, you know, that's why log lines are the same thing, which is actually why I can't take credit for this. My friend Laura Brennan, who is not only a great writer, but she is an amazing pitch doctor. She helps many people um, work on their pitches for features and for TV shows and um, sell them. And Laura came up with this great thing, this worksheet, uh, called the Handy Dandy Log Line Sheet. It's kind of taking the idea of Mad Libs, which I don't know how many of you actually know the reference of that game. Probably half the room does and half the room doesn't. Um, but 